everyone, Tim Brown, welcome to my Apple Podcast. I'm enjoying some downtime right now. I'm not in the studio at all. This is what I typically do when I'm at home and, and I'm not at work and just relaxing. And I'm in a, totally in a relaxed mode and I'm on Instagram just sort of checking out the feed and just having a good time. But you know what was really different this time around is that I'm not on my iPhone or my iPad checking out Instagram. I'm actually on my laptop. So I figured, why not just plug in the microphone and share with you the experience. The app I'm using is called Flume. It's F-L-U-M-E. And it basically allows you to browse through your feed in the same way you would if you were on your phone, but basically but using your Mac. And I'm using my trackpad to scroll up and down with two fingers. And there are a lot of really cool features here that I want to show you. So let me go up to the menu here so, I can, so you can see what's at your disposal. So if you go to File, you can see that you can quickly refresh your browser, or you can do it with the Command R. Uh, you can see you can set up multiple accounts and you can navigate between your accounts using shortcut keys, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, you can also view different things. So right now you've got my home feed, but I can also look at the posts that I've liked. I can explore and search. I can look, search up my activity and my conversations as well as go directly to my profile page. And you can switch back and forth between column views and grid views. And I can go ahead and, and show you that right now, actually. So if I do a command two. I go back to grid view so I can actually view multiple posts, you know, rather than viewing them in, in, in single column view and then go back to command one for the column view. And I'm going to show you some other shortcut options too. So for example, if I go back to the view option, you see I uh, pointed out all those other different things that you can do and they're in numerical order. So let me just go ahead and just show you that. So if I do like a command seven, you'll see that it takes me to my profile page. And this is actually just one of three accounts and you can navigate between accounts by using the control key and going one two three in that order so this is actually control two i believe this is my second account if i do a control one that takes me to my first account that i set up which is just art speaks volumes and i can go to command three to my my apple podcast and it'll take me to that feed so as you can see the shortcut keys really come in handy because they really enable you to browse through your accounts and just browse through your media in a very easy sort of way. So if I go back up to view again, you'll see that at the very bottom, there's also an option to view this app in full screen mode. And you do that by selecting control command and then the F key. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do control command F and you can see that it now launches the app full screen. It's still, it's very similar than it was when it was on the desktop, but it just gets rid of all the uh, navigation bars and all of that. And it's still the same clean user interface. One thing I really like too, is that it has a translucent bar up, up at the top. It's very much like the, I, the uh, OS experience in terms of, you know, if you were using Safari, it would be a very similar kind of experience. And it's really just beautiful to look at. And it also has this nice option too, of um, looking a, cl a little closer at your images. You can bring them up just a little larger than it would be if they were on the feed in this column view. And you just do that by just simply hitting the space bar. So you hit the space bar and it just gives you another view of the image that you're looking at. How cool is that? Hit the space bar again and it goes back. Uh, really nice. If you want to get out of the full screen mode, you just go ahead and do a control command F again and it just takes you right back to where you were. So this is a really beautiful app in terms of how it works. And, and again, if you were scrolling up and down, I'll do a command one to go back to my home feed. Uh, when you go back to the home feed, in addition to going back and forth between grid view, uh, you can also like something right away by just double tapping on it. And you see that heart appear right in the, in the center, or you can just tap on it. And then I'll take you to another window and you can see the comment section down below and you can select comments on the top right if you want to leave a comment or also share if you want to share this post as well um, you can you can select the arrow in the top left to go back or just use two fingers on your trackpad and just swipe to the left to go back so this is flume a beautiful user interface if you like instagram and you want to be able to have the option to enjoy instagram on your mac this is the app for that. I mean, it is really nice. It, it's a beautiful interface. I enjoy it. As a matter of fact, I haven't used my iPhone and iPad in a while because it's just so enjoyable. I can't stop using it. It's, it's, it's really that enjoyable. Uh, so check it out. It's Flume, F-L-U-M-E, and it's available in the Mac App Store. My name is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of My Apple Podcast. Check me out next time.